A faith walker is one who focuses not on fear or on the facts, but focuses on their faith. More importantly, their faith in God and the word of faith, Church of Jesus Christ. We are faith walkers. And no matter what comes against us in 2021, we are not going to be afraid. We're not going to worry about the facts. We are going to focus on our faith because we are faith walking forward fearlessly into our future. Join us 2021. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord once again. We come to give God some praise this morning. We come to glorify his name. Hallelujah. We come to lift them up this morning. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I come to say thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning in our right mind. Because, you know, a lot of people went to bed last night that didn't wake up this morning. Hallelujah. You know, he kept us from, from the virus. Amen. He put food on our table. Hallelujah. And he healed our body when we're sick. He supplied all our needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. We come to give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just thank you this morning for joining us on our morning worship morning service uh, for Word of Faith Church of Jesus Christ, Inc., where our pastor, our founder is our Bishop Larry Frazier Sr. and First Lady Anita Frazier. Our current pastor is Pastor Napoleon Bradford and First Lady Karen Bradford. Amen. We're going to have our strip this morning by Sister White. Excuse me, I'm sorry. We'll have our prayer this morning by Sister White and our strip by Brother White in that order. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you this morning, Father God, with thanksgiving in our heart, Father God. Father God, we ask you right now, Father God, that you touch us where we are, Father. That you touch us from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet, Father God. That you wrap your loving arms around us, Father God, and let us know that it's okay, Father God. Everything that may be going on around us right now, Father God, it's all, Father God, for the glory of you, Father God, because we know that you have the answer at the end, Father God. With Whatever's going on around us in the world, Father God, we know that you have the answer at the end, Father God. So we ask you right now, Father God, that you touch those who are bereaving right now, Father God, that you touch those, Father God, in the nursing homes, Father God, that you touch those that are in the hospitals, Father God, that you give them, Father God, a touch of love, Father God, that you breathe in them, Father God, that you let them know, Father God, that it's okay, Father God. Father God, I ask that you go to the street corners right now, Father God, and touch those prostitutes, Father God. Touch the drug addicts right now, Father God. Touch the drug dealers right now, Father God. Just let them know, Father God, that it's okay, Father God. Let them know, Father God, that you are the answer, Father God, that you are the beginning and the end, Father God, that you are our alpha and our omega, Father God. Father God, I ask that you give them peace, Father God. Give them a peace of mind, Father God. Give everyone in the nation's capital and the world, Father God, in the universe. Let them know, Father God, that you will give them the peace of mind. All they have to do is look up and know that you are their help, Father God. As it says in Psalms 121, Father God, that you are our help, Father God. So all we have to do, Father God, is look up to you, Father God. We may be down right now, Father God, but all we have to do is look up. Look up, Father God, from the hills to come of our help, because our help comes from you, Father God. And we thank you for all the help that you have, Father God, all the help that you're going to do for us, Father God. And, Father God, we ask you that you touch the speaker of the house right now, Father God. That anything, Father God, that is going to fall, Father God, that it fall on solid ground, Father God, not a rocky soul, Father. So we ask you right now, Father God, just to touch him right now, Father God. Touch our founders right now, Father God. Touch Lady B right now, Father God. Let everyone know, Father God, that it's okay, Father God, that you have your loving arms wrapped around all of us, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I will be reading Psalms. 26, verse 3, and I'll be reading from the King James Version, and it reads as follows. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, 
whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and reading of the word. Amen. 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 We just want to thank Sister White for our prayer this morning and Brother James White for our scripture. And we're going to have the statement of faith by Joshua Patrick Walker. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I have the right to every promise in the Bible. I walk the path of righteousness that requires faith. For Hebrews 11.6 reads, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We just want to thank Joshua, Patrick Walker, for doing our statement of faith this morning, where he say that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen? So we got to have faith to please God. Amen? Everything worketh in faith. Amen. Amen. So we're going to move right along this morning. I'm going to turn the service over to our pastor, Pastor Napoleon Bradford. Let's be with a hearty amen, please. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. It's indeed another beautiful day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. Anybody here glad today? Anybody here excited today? Anybody here woke up with their mind, stayed on Jesus, ready to praise Jesus, to learn more about how to serve Jesus, how to be better servants, how to increase our ability to faith walk forward fearlessly into our future? Anybody here ready to get their mind right so that we can be better equipped for the work of the kingdom? Listen, I'm excited to be here. I want to shout out Elder Willie Walker for being an amazing worship leader. I want to shout out uh, 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 Lady Vanique White, uh, Sister Vanique White for uh, being able to do the prayer and praying so powerfully to, to Brother James White, who read the scripture so eloquently to, to Joshua Patrick Walker. <laughs> thank, thank you for the statement of faith, uh, letting us and reminding us of why we are here. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. Oh man, I'm just so excited, so excited. I really failed because I was supposed to put up the words to the statement of faith on the screen so that you could have seen it. Yep, yep, thank you, thank you. That holy hands, thanks, shout out to holy hands for reminding me uh, <laughs> and chastising me at the same time that I didn't do what I needed to do. I got you, I got you, I got you. Listen, before I preach and before I give the word, we do have a selection, but before that, let me pause to publicly thank. I had to repent. I was in a training on yesterday uh, with uh, Dr. Robert Trice and the trustees, and I, I have to repent publicly and tell the trustees and everyone that deals with the finances, thank you. Let me tell you why I have to tell them thank you, because oftentimes we thank the deacon for the prayer. We thank uh, the elders for checking on us, but we never thank the trustees and the financial clerks and all of them. Why is that important? Because every time I've come into the office in the last three weeks, I never had to worry about the lights being on because somebody paid the bill. Now, I didn't write no check. Elder Walker, I didn't pay no bill, but somebody did. So I need to tell those people that kept it. Listen, every time I left trash in the trash can, when I came back, it was gone. I didn't take it out all the time. Now, sometimes I did, especially if I had food that was stank, but other times I didn't, but I never said thank you. So I want to publicly thank the trustees and all of those that contribute to the wellness and the behind the scenes work of the church, because that, that's not my lane. That's, that's not my bandwidth, right? So, so I want to thank them. Now, now, with that being said, we're in this series called Get Your Mind Right. And we heard the scripture read by Brother James White. And it just so happens that our musical selection kind of falls in line. So without further ado, I uh, present to you uh, Minister LaQuentin Jenkins. God says, 
Hallelujah. How many of you know him to be the keeper of your soul? How many of you have testified that God is the keeper of your soul? God is the reason you're here. It's not by anything you've done. It's that when you got out of it, God kept it from damaging you. God kept it from hurting you. God kept it from wiping you out. God is the keeper. Uh, oh man, that's the reason I'm here. Oh, to be kept by J. Hey, that's the reason I'm here. I'm only here because of God's keeping power. God kept me. God kept me. God kept my mind. God kept my heart. God kept my tongue. God kept my body. God is a keeper. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. God's a keeper. God's a keeper. Oh, man. God will make a way out of no way. Anybody here ever known God to make a way, known God to open doors, known God to make things happen that seemed impossible? God is the keeper Woo! of my soul. My soul, my soul. Oh man. Thank you, Minister Jenkins, for ushering us into this sermonic moment. Ah. Uh, God will keep us in perfect peace. Ah, perfect. You know what perfect peace looks like? You sleep at night. Hey, you go to bed without a care in the world. That's perfect peace. All hell can be breaking out around you and you don't even seem bothered. You just navigate through it because God has kept you in perfect peace. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not going to prolong the time. We're we're in a series for the year called Faith Walking Forward Fearlessly into our future. We're in a series or theme for the first quarter called Spiritual Discipline. And our preaching series for the month of January is Get Your Mind Right. So for the next couple of minutes, I want to direct your attention to the scripture found in Isaiah chapter 26, verse number three. Isaiah chapter number 26, beginning at verse number three. And it says this, says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. I want to preach for the next couple of minutes from this thought, my mind's made up. My mind's made up. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this preaching moment. We simply ask that you step in that you inhabit every word, every thought, every action, that you open up the minds, the hearts, the ears of the listener, that they may be that they may be receptive to every lesson you have for them. And allow us, God, to be able to be at peace. Allow us, God, to not ever become so consumed with the distractions and demonic attacks of the world that we forget that as long as we focus on you, you can handle everything else. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My mind's made up. This week, Lady B and I had the opportunity to teach a class based on a movie called Overcomers. Overcomers is a movie about a young girl who was abandoned, she thought, by her parents and raised by her grandmother, and she was an asthmatic cross-country runner. She was a cross country runner, but she had asthma. And, and for most intents and purposes, everybody that saw this laughed. Everybody that heard the fact that she was asthmatic, yet a cross country runner, they laughed. And she was the only person on the team. <laughs> so can you picture that? The whole team is only one person. The coach would get suited up for practice and it'd only be one person there. Find out through the course of the movie, that her parents aren't dead, where her mother is, but her father's not. Now, just spoiler alert, if you ain't seen it, watch it for yourself. You're still going to cry. I cried. But what I found out was that she had to run a race, and the coach for that race was her father's voice in her ear. Recorded voice ran her through the track, that the course that she was running, and this is what happened. He said these words. He said, I know you're tired, but you must tell your body to keep moving. 
your body is tired, but your mind is still sharp. And as long as you allow your mind to control your body and not your body to control your mind, you may hurt, but you won't stop. Ooh. And we need to understand just how powerful our mind is. If we'd be honest, many times the reason we get into situations is not because our body does it, because our body doesn't do stuff without our mind giving it commands. And most times when we make mistakes or backtrack or slip or fall or slide or backslide, it's simply because our mind got the best of us. It was our mind that told our hands that they weren't qualified to fill out the application so we didn't fill it out. It was our mind that told us not to even go in the bank to apply for the loan so we didn't. It was our mind that said we weren't good enough so we settled for second best rather than waiting for the best God has for us. It was our mind. And too many times we allow the distractions of the world, the distractions of what people are doing around us keep us from being able to be who God created us to be, to walk in all of the glory and purpose God has for us when God created us. It's our mind that keeps us. That's, that's why this scripture is so powerful, right? Isaiah is writing this as a part of a song for an impending praise that's going to come after they find themselves in captivity. Okay, catch this. Isaiah is writing this, telling the people what's going to happen to them. But in the middle of them being in captivity, the text says they're going to break out into a song. And this verse is part of the song. The verse says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is, oh man, listen, I need you to understand this. This suggests, oh God, I just saw it. This suggests that there are going to be situations you don't necessarily like to be in. There are going to be situations that you don't want to find yourself in. You may find yourself fired, but it won't bother you. You may find yourself broke, but it won't bother you because as long as you keep your mind stayed, focused, fixed on God, everything else is going to work out. In other words, it is this season that we have to determine not to focus on the facts, ah, but to focus on our faith. Because as long as we fix our focus on our faith and our faith in God, God can manipulate the fact. Oh my God, I needed somebody to hear me. This song suggests, this statement suggests, this sermon suggests that all God wants you to do is make your mind up. Huh? I got a made up mind. And once you make your mind up, God will handle everything else. So, so the question, the question we're going to wrestle with simply, simply real fast is simply this. You ready? What are the manifestations of a made up mind? <laughs> what, what are the manifestations of a made up mind? Here, here we go. You ready? Let's go. My, my, my first manifestation, my conditions don't change my countenance. Okay. My conditions, what's going on around me, don't change, adjust, alter my countenance, my attitude. Ah, look, look, it's right there in the text. The text begins like this, says this, says, in that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God will appoint salvation for the walls and the bulwarks. In other words, the writer is saying that even though stuff is in disarray, my hope is in the fact that God's going to handle it. And because my mind is fixed on God, I don't worry about what I see. I trust the Savior. Oh, God. And somebody needs to know that regardless of what you go through, regardless of if the walls are caving in, regardless of if the bottom is falling out, you make up your mind to fix your gaze on God. Listen, can I tell you what it looks like? We preached it for, for watch night. Peter on the water. Ain't nothing below him, but he's fixed his mind on God so he can take steps on what seems to be not there. But once he allowed the wind to distract him, he started sinking. I'm trying to tell you, as long as you can focus on God, as long as you can get a prayer up, as long you won't have to worry about the conditions around you. Listen, listen, I need you to understand. It, see, Christians bother me because you can't be a worshiper on Sunday when it's safe 
and then go to crying and whining and, and thinking things ain't going to happen for you on Tuesday. Listen, you can't allow your conditions to change your countenance. If you a worshiper, you worship whether things are good or bad. If you a worshiper, you worship whether you happy or sad. If you a worshiper in, listen, Vanique was in the hospital worshiping. Oh, she was in the hospital worshiping, out of surgery, worshiping. She wasn't complaining, oh, this hurt. Yeah, she might have said it hurt, but it didn't stop her praise. Had one hand on her side and the other hand in the air. She was a worshiper. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Here's the second thing. Here's the second thing. Hold on. Not only do my conditions not change my countenance, here's the second thing. Those who bothered me before don't bother me. Oh, God. Look at what the text says. It's right there in the text. The text says this. Verse number two says this. It says, um, open the gates that the righteous nations which keep the truth may enter. Ho, ho, you got to catch this because remember, this is future tense. So, so what he's saying is at some point in time, I allowed outside forces to get the best of me. You know, maybe it was me comparing myself to the Joneses. Maybe it was me letting their talk kind of intimidate me. Maybe it was me allowing what I saw to make me sad. They look like they had it going on. They look like they was doing the right thing. I'm trying to keep myself together, but they look like they're having the ball, right? Right? But but now what used to bother me doesn't bother me no more. The song says, let them in. Oh man, let, let them in. Let, let him, I ain't worried about you. Listen, you got a bigger car than me, that's cool. I'm going to enjoy my hoop. You, you, you got a bigger house than me, that's cool. I'm going to enjoy my apartment. You, 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 you got a better job than me, that's cool. I'm still paying my bills with what I have. I'm not going to let it bother me. See, here's the thing. When I focus on God, I don't have time to compare. I don't have time to look to the left and the right and figure out what they're doing. I'm focused on God, and I realize what God has for me, whoo, it is for me. If God wanted me to have a bigger car, he would have gave me a bigger car. If God wanted me to have a bigger house, he would have gave me a bigger house. All I'm trying to say is I don't let it bother me. I, I'm not, I listen, in 2021, I ain't being petty no more. I ain't, I ain't hey, not that I, I was ever petty. I'm just saying I'm not being petty no more. I, I'm just saying I, I'm not going to allow you to get the best of me or allow my mind to play tricks on me thinking about what you're thinking about. That's really what it is. Oh my God, that's really what it is. Oftentimes, what really gets us is we're thinking they're thinking something about us. <laughs> so, so we in our mind operate thinking they're thinking something about us. But in this day and in 2021, I ain't worrying about what you think. Whether you like me or don't like me, it don't matter. God loves me. <laughs> whether, you, whether you appreciate me or don't, God praises me because God wakes me up in the morning. God shows me God's love. Okay, okay, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Here, here's number three. Um, number three, number three. In my weakness, I worship and become a warrior. Oh, God. Ha! How do I make up my mind? In my weakness, look, look, I worship and become a warrior. Here, here's the text. text says this. You will keep me in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts on you. Watch this. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah, the Lord, is everlasting strength. Catch this. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. That, that word trust is really this idea of devoted attention, right? So my mind is stayed on God, but in the midst of my mind staying on God, I direct my attention to God. That's the act of devotion or worship. And when I worship God, I get access to all God has. Oh, man. Oh, man. See, see, in my weakness, right? Because he will keep him in perfect peace, which means at some period in time, his mind was in disarray because he was directing his attention all over the place. But God says, if you just focus on me, let me feed you. Oh, God. Let me, in fact, oh my God, my ministers will praise right now because we learned yesterday in the clergy cohort about the name El Shaddai. <laughs> El Shaddai is God Almighty. It's, it's the word Shaddai, which means mountain, but also means breast. It's the idea of a mother nourishing her child. Okay. In other words, when you trust God, God knows exactly what you need. Oh man. And so if you just focus your attention, I think that's what got Vanique out of the hospital, right? She wasn't worried about what the doctors were saying. She focused on God and God gave her what she needed till she got out. Oh God. Okay. 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 So, 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 so the more I worship, 
in my weakness, the more I become a warrior, the, the more strength I get. You, you know, it's the idea of, listen, I know, I know I, I grew up watching old 70s TV shows. So, so I used to like watching The Incredible Hulk. And, and David Banner would say, don't make me angry. You, you wouldn't like me if I'm angry. And they would, they would beat him up and throw him in a pit. And his eyes would turn green. Oh, my God. And all of a sudden, you'd hear a roar. And he would bust out of the hole. And all I'm trying to tell you is let them think you're weak. But they don't understand that when you're weak, you fall on your knees. And when you fall on your knees, you get access to unlimited strength. So even though I'm bowing down now, don't be around when I get up. Because when I get up, I got the power of God on my side. When I get up, I'm ready to knock ball walls down. I'm ready to run through buildings. I'm, I'm ready to lift mountains. I, I am able to do all that God has given me the power to do. Don't let my weakness fool you. Okay, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. Here's number five. Number four. What I worried about, God made a way, and now I walk on him. Oh, God. <laughs> what I worried about, God made a way. Now I walk on him. Look, look at the text right there in the text. The text says, for he brings down those who dwell on high. The lofty city, he lays it low. He lays it to the ground, he brings it to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, the foot of the poor and the steps of the knee. Catch this, remember, this is future tense. So he's saying, listen, right now, there are those who sit on high who are trying to control me, who are trying to intimidate me, but wait, God's about to bring them down to my level to the point that I will be able to walk on what I used to worry about. Ooh, God, I, I know you've been watching the news. There was a second impeachment. Okay, I know you was watching the news. A whole lot of people are bailing ship. I know you were watching the news. The people that thought they were in power last Wednesday, this past Wednesday are finding out they going to jail. You ought to understand. They thought they were up here. But God has a way of bringing them down here. And all I'm trying to tell you is you don't have to worry about it. God will make it in such a way that you'll walk on it. Okay, come here, come here, Jesus. The disciples in the boat, Matthew chapter 14, and, and the boat starts getting hit by wind. The rain is rocking the boat. In fact, we learned this last week at Sunday school from the, from the John account, John 6. And as the boat's rocking in the water, the disciples are panicking because the water and the wind is rocking the boat. But here comes Jesus. Walking on the way, they, they're panicking, but Jesus is in fact, in fact, listen, listen, Walker. I'm pretty sure if we could see Jesus, he had a a a a a a a a a a a a a a um Barack Obama kind of stride. He 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 had he had one of them uh them smooth Billy D. Williams strolls. He 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 had a swag to him. Walking in the storm, you and, and God gives you, you, you're a child of God. You, you have that same God given ability. If you just trust God, you can have swag in the storm. Oh God, I serve a God while everybody else is screaming. I got swag in the storm. I'm rocking back and forth. I'm taking it step by step. The storms don't bother me. And you need to know. That when you make up your mind to keep your mind fixed on God, the peace of God will allow you to navigate storms with no problems. <laughs> oh, God. Here, here's, here's number seven. Number five. The reality is all I really want to do now is right. <laughs> Listen, look, it's right in the text. It's right in the text. Verse seven says this. It says the way of the just is uprightness. Oh, most upright. You weigh the path of the just. Yes, in the way of your judgments, O oh Lord, we have waited for you. The desire of our soul is in your name. Catch this, catch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe you missed it. Um, what I realize when I make up my mind is I don't have time for thoughts of devilment. I don't have time for thoughts of trouble because my mind is fixed on God. 
and my focus is on pleasing God. So as long as my focus is on pleasing God, I'm not distracted by the winds around me trying to lead the wrong way. Walker, 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 walk. listen, there might have been a time in my past that you could have easily got me off track if you offered me certain things. Oh, listen, the girls are over here. The liquor's over here. The weed's over here. The cigarettes over here. But that was then. I am now in a season where if it ain't God related, don't come for me. I ain't trying to deal with it if it ain't God related. If it ain't making my life better, I ain't trying to deal with it. If it's not bringing God glory, I ain't trying to deal with it. And all I'm trying to say is eventually, if you make up your mind, the stuff that used to distract you won't do it anymore. I was talking to one of my frat brothers the other day. Um, the frat brother, um, he, he, he was in college for a while. And um, we partied, but he, he never got finished. But we partied, but he never got finished. But we, we partied. And he'd show up for the party, but he wouldn't show up for class. He'd show up for the party, but he wouldn't show up for class. And I, I was celebrating him because this past year, he finally got his diploma, right? And I talked to him the other day, and what he said was, I'm not who I used to be. <laughs> he, he, said, he said, I may have used to procrastinate. I may have used to to talk myself out. I may have used to self-sabotage, but that's not who I am anymore. I said, what happened? He said, I made up my mind. Ah, I wanted to get finished. And all I'm trying to tell you is when you make up your mind, you can't be distracted because the only thing you're focused on is God. Okay, listen, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Oh man, I'm trying not to run. Here's number six. Here's number six. I am particular and only pursuing God's presence. When I make up my mind, I'm particular. Look, look at what it said. Look at the set. Look at verse 8b says this. It says, says, look, the desire of our soul is for your name and for the remembrance of you. <laughs> with, with my soul, I have desired for you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, he said, listen, all I want to do is to get in the presence of your name and the remembrance of your name. Oh, man. In other words, all I desire once I make up my mind is to not be so consumed with the foolishness I used to be focused on. I just want to be in your presence. I, I just want to be around you, and I want to be involved in stuff that makes your name great or allows me to reflect on how great you've been in my life. Everything I want to do is connected to you. Now, listen, listen, listen. Don't, don't, don't get super spiritual on me now. I ain't saying you got to be in church every day. I'm saying that when you make up your mind, you will find yourself being able to find God in every aspect of your life. You will start crediting stuff to God that you used to take the credit for. You will start giving God credit for stuff that you used to praise people for. Oh, yeah, you showed up on time. No, you ain't showed up on time. God sent you on time. Yeah, that check sure came. No, God sent that check on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You really blessed me. No, God allowed you to bless me. And you realize that it's all God anyway. Everything that happens and is good in my life, God did it. And even if it ain't good, God did that too. In other words, God does it all. And I can praise him for the good days and I can praise him for the bad days because I've had some good days. Oh, man, I need you to hear what I said. When I learn that it's all God, I can praise God for the good days and I can praise God for the bad days because I know he's the God of the good days. And because I've had some good days, I can take some time to shout over the bad days because they make me appreciate the good days and expect more good days. Okay. Okay. I'm trying not to run. I'm trying not to run, but I got one more to go. Here we go. Let's get this thing done. Here's number seven. I can praise in this place on a promise. Whew. Oh God. I'm trying not to run. Um, the verse ends like this. But when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the earth will learn righteousness. But you got to remember how it began. In verse one, it says, in that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. Okay, 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 ho, 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 hold on, hold on, let me say it again slowly. It says, in that day, future, this song, present, 
will be sung in the land of Judah. Oh, okay, 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 I see you now with me. Um, Remember I told you this is happening in the future. This is a prophetic word about a song that will be sung, but the song's already written. Okay, 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 God, okay, okay. Which means even before they experience the fulfillment of what happens in the song, they have already written the song. Okay, okay, okay. I see you're not with me yet. I see you. Johnson, they're not with me yet. I, I'm, I'm giving I'm giving one more time. I'm gonna say it again slowly. Even though they haven't experienced the fulfillment of the song, they already wrote the song because they're expecting to be able to sing the song in the land of Judah. Okay, I, I see, I see you now. Wait a minute, let me see if I can slow this thing down. Um, 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 Judah means praise. What they're writing is a song that reflects a promise. And they're writing it in the present, in their present place, because their mind is fixed on God. They already know that they will be able to sing the song. So here's the thing. No matter how bad it is right now, no matter how crazy it seems right now, because you know God is there, because you know God's going to do it, because you know God is able, you can praise God in this place. Oh, man, I'm praising God right now. He ain't do it yet, but I know he can. He hadn't fixed it yet, but I know he can. I'm praising God in this place. Listen, I need you to understand we ain't been in the sanctuary in a long time, and you ain't got to wait to get to the sanctuary to praise the Lord. Judah can be your bedroom. Judah can be your seat. Judah can be your bathroom. Judah can be your front yard. Judah can be your car. Wherever you choose to think about how good God is, that's where you pray. And all I want to do is see who on here today is willing to stop what they're doing, stop worrying about what they were thinking about, and give God some praise. Oh, God. He's at right now. Listen, I'm broke, but he's worthy. I'm broken, but he's worthy. I'm hurting, but he's worthy. I'm lonely, but he's worthy. I'm going through, but he's worthy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Listen, I don't need to see it manifest. I can praise God for the promise because the text says this in that day, which means that day is coming. Oh, man. That day is coming. This song will be sung. Okay, catch it. Listen, the promise is I'm going to see that day. Oh, God. That's the promise. Walker, you're going to see that day. Joshua's coming out of college. You're going to see that day. Oh, God. You're going to see that day. In that day, this song's going to be sung. Oh, God, I need you to understand it. Some of you are waiting on the promise to see your grandkids graduate. Some of you are waiting on the promise to see your uh, a dream of home ownership fulfilled in that day. But you don't have to wait till that day. You can praise God right now. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Woo. But you got to make up your mind. You got to make up your mind that nothing you see now is going to stop you from still praising God for the not yet. Woo! God, I thank you. Let's give God a hand of praise. Let's give God a hand of praise. Oh, listen, listen, I, ah, 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 in that day, listen, in that day, ah, in, that means that day is coming, in, I don't know what your in that day praise is. I, I don't know what your in that day praise is, but I just want you right now just to give God praise for in that day. This song shall be sung. Shall is the is the promise attached to God. Shall is not will. Shall means that God's going to make it happen. Oh, so what is the in that day praise? What's your in right there in the chat? Just type what your in that day praise is. In that day, I shall see. In that day, I shall witness. In that day, I shall live. In that day, I shall receive. It's not here yet, but it's coming in that day. And I'm going to praise him now for that day. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was done. I really was done. 
I was done. In that day, I was done. I'm done. I'm done. Listen, listen, listen. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're under the sound of my voice and you can't praise God for that day because you don't know the God who controls that day. So if you've never accepted God as your savior, if you've never given your life to Christ and you hear God telling you it's time to do it, just simply text the word new faith to 84576. Text new faith to 84576. If you want to be saved, maybe you are saved, but you straight away and you hear God telling you it's time to come back. If that's you, then give your life back to Christ. Restore your relationship to Christ. Connect again to Christ. Text new faith to 84576 or in the chat, type restore. If you want to be saved in the chat, type saved. If you want to be restored in the chat, type restored. And thirdly, if you want to connect to a church, if you want to be a member of the Word of Faith Church of Jesus Christ in Riverdale or intergalactically, you know, we're everywhere. Just type in the chat, join, or text New Faith to 84576. Listen, we would love to have you worship with us. If you're looking for a place where you can learn the knowledge of God, experience the power of God, be loved on by the people of God, and participate in the work of God. I'm missing one P, but I'll figure it out a little later. But bottom line is we're the place to connect to. Text New Faith to 84576 or type join in the chat. Again, we want to thank uh, everybody. Here's the final connection. If you want to connect to us through contribution, right below us is right there. You can give using Cash App, Raz Mobile, or Givelify. For a minute, I'm about to put the screen up so you can see it. Put the screen up so you can see all your giving options. So here are our connections. You can connect through contribution, Givelify, Raise Mobile, or Cash App. You can connect through to the church or to Christ or back to Christ by texting New Faith to 84576. Take a minute, take a minute. It's also, if you're not a member of the church, it's also on the screen outside the video. So you'll be able to do it there. All right, listen, we're out. I'm going to give you a little bit more time if you want to give, but we're going to close. And we close with our benediction. Our word for the day is simply this. Take a moment to get your mind made up. Make up your mind that the most important thing to you is God. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added. That perfect peace that God releases only comes when somebody's mind is stayed on him. That word stayed is the word samak. It means to lay, rest, support, be upheld by, but it also means to be refreshed and revived. Oh man, in other words, your trust in God, your your staying in God refreshes you and revives you. So stay connected to God. Here, here's the last thing as we leave. Here, here's our word, repeating Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither life nor death, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Listen, before we leave, I know we're about to finish this broadcast, but don't disconnect yet because we're about to have tribe time. We're going to break out into our tribe rooms so that tribe leaders can talk with their tribe. Also, final thing, you saw Bishop and, and Pastor Anita with their shirts on. Oh, I got my Faith Walker shirt. I got my Faith Walker shirt. Make sure you get your Faith Walker shirt. We'll send out the link in tonight's announcements. Make sure you get it. Mine's sweaty now. So if I wear it next week, I would have washed it. So Walker don't be saying nothing about me if I have the shirt on next week. I would have washed it. 
<laughs> All right, listen. Love y'all. Y'all have an amazing day. To God be the glory.